Okay, and we start with another session of the English Conversation Circle, which is part of the Circles program from Out and About, which aims at uh, creating or building a society based on universal values, love, peace, forgiveness, forgiveness acceptance, benevolence. Okay? And also uh, uh, promotes the concept of the global citizen, a global citizen means a, a human being treating a human being only for being a human being. Okay, so the objective of the English conversation session is to practice the language without any barriers and we do not correct any mistakes. The objective is only to practice the language with all the mistakes available so as not to stop the flow of the conversation. Okay. So please don't be uh, embarrassed or don't stop yourself from speaking if you want to speak. No one will force you to speak if you don't want to speak, okay? But we encourage all to participate so as to practice the language, okay? And to eliminate any anxiety related to this foreign language. So I forgot my notebook, which has all the uh, previous uh, uh, topics. So we'll start as usual with what would you like to talk about? Nutrition. Nutrition? What about nutrition? About the positive, the healthy, healthy food and the negative of the junk food. Okay, so... Uh, Habits of the food. Uh, okay, uh, how, how do you, we, we had it in the, it's, it was one of the eating topics. Habits. Yeah. Eating yeah. habits, yeah. healthy eating habits. Yeah. Healthy eating habits, okay. No, we can just, we, we don't want to remember the, uh, the other topics. So this is one suggestion, uh, healthy uh, f uh, eating habits. What other topics would you like to talk about? Yes? Okay, maybe uh, bad things which are sometimes good for you. Bad things that are good for you. I like this one. I have one in my mind. Bad things that are good for you. Okay. What else would you like to discuss? Don't be shy now. Hamza, yes, Muhammad. How about uh, stereotypes? Stereotypes, okay. How accurate they can be and how okay. different they are. Lovely, stereotypes. Hamza had success, uh, the success factors you mentioned before. Success factors. Factors that enable us to be successful, to become successful. Okay. Yeah, four. I think. Okay. Five. Yes. King Abdullah. Yes. Pass. Pass. Our leader. Actually, there's a topic uh, interesting nowadays. Foreign workers. Malajin. Foreign workers. And uh, the concept of slave. Did some people, they treat it like slave? Okay, so we will discuss the, the concept, concept of... Slave, yes, done or not. Yes. Of foreign labor. Yes. Foreign labor. Okay, and then we'll see how the discussion goes. Foreign labor. So, let's start voting, or are there any other suggestions? Why you don't like it? I don't have my notebook, that's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, number one. Eat uh, healthy eating habits. Who would like to discuss healthy eating habits? Raise your hand. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The next topic is what was it? Bad, bad, bad things. things are bad things are good for you. Bad things are good for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, bad things that are good for you. Stereotyping. Stereotyping. One, two. Like what's the Stereotyping. All Jordanians are like this. All people with black hair do that. Okay, this is stereotyping. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three. Uh, raise your hand again. All of one, two, three. Four, five, five, five. Uh, the fourth uh, success factors. 
factors that enable us to become successful. One, two, okay, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen success factors. And the final one was what? Uh, foreign. Uh, foreign labor. Foreign labor. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So. Okay, so 12 and 13. Yes. Okay. So, between bad things are good for you and success factors. Bad things are good for you. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You just raised your hand? Yes? I suggested that. Okay, so, okay, so 13. Yes? Uh, success factors. Factors that enable you to become successful. One, two, three. Okay, again. One, two, three, four, five. Again. All people with success factors, raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What? The I didn't change any <laughs> words. <laughs> there was a suggestion. Let's let's do voting between those two, the highest ones. Okay. Let's vote again. Let's vote again. Okay. <laughs> Another time. Okay. Bad things are good for you. Bad things are good for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And you success factors. Success factors. <laughs> this is lobbying. <laughs> okay. Success factors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. <laughs> so, bad things are good for you. Who wants to open the floor? You said that you had an idea. Yeah. I just suggested it. Okay, so why don't you open the floor since you suggested the topic? I will say it, don't worry. Doesn't kill you, make you stronger. Okay. So failure is something bad, but you can get good results out of it. Okay. Okay. Failure, traumas. Yes. Are you welcome? Okay. Bad things, but 
good thing. Yeah, if you have one, it's good for you. It's bad for the others. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. I mean, I may suggest to vote for the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're done with voting. Oh. You vote about uh, who consider lying is good and who consider lying is bad. Okay. I think, I don't know what I may have suggested. And raise your hand if you find that lying is good. Who, who thinks that lying can be good? Yes? yes. 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 That lying can be good. One, two, three. You have your hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. No, no. Seven out of twenty. Seven out, out of twenty-one think that lying can be good for you. Let's put again. You want to explain? You want explanation? Explain. Yeah. Yes. Uh, like if I it's, it is called white light. White light uh, can be good if you want to protect someone or protect yourself, or if you want to make peace between two people. Or if you want to make a compliment for someone, uh, there are in certain situations. A compliment is not lying. No, it, no, can it, 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 it can be. It can be. It can be. For example, if my girlfriend, for example, cooked for me or, or for us, okay, and it was, for example, without any salt, and she really, wa yeah, I mean, she really puts an effort into that food, okay. What I would do, for example, because I saw how she really wanted to do something special, for example, on that special day. And I would taste it and I would say, wow, <laughs> wonderful. Yes. Can I have the salt, please? <laughs> but it's not wonderful. But it is, because the food is not wonderful. The fact is, the food is not tasty. There's something missing in the food. So it's not tasty. If you just put the salt... Will be fine. But from a lying, the definition of lying, okay, yeah. from my perspective, the definition of lying is to say something which is not true. Yes. Yeah, the doctor can sometimes no, lie to his patient. Yes, <laughs> yeah. so not, yes, or, uh, yes. Uh, another example is the doctor, for example, oh. when, he, uh, when he or she uh, 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 assures a patient of there is hope, uh, wait for, and there is future medication that is coming up, stuff like that, and there is nothing of that sort. I don't consider this lying. What is this? Okay. What is lying? What is lying? Yes. yes. Oh, what's the definition of lying? Lying is, is make up a lie. You make something, you make uh, out of something, something lies. This is lying. But when doctor say to the patient and give him hope and be trying to Let's say Polish, this, this bad thing, this is not a lie. I don't think it's a lie. Okay, let's say my girlfriend did her hair today. Okay? And she came back from the hairdresser. And in my point of view, oh my God. <laughs> okay? And I would go, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. What have you done with your hair? It's yeah, amazing. Done. Lying, you, cannot, yeah. you cannot continue lying to him. <laughs> 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 he can. Of course he can. <laughs> That's a good advice. <laughs> what I mean, what what do you consider that? I, I I mean I mean that that this is if you if you tell her that oh this is fine in a way or another. She will find out that you are lying. Okay. I, I believe. In, um, in any comment, in anything, in any maybe look at her, yes. she will find out that you are lying. But the idea is, should I go and tell her, what have you done to yourself? No, no. no. As we said before about comment. you can say, ah, oh, this is good. But I wasn't truthful. But I wasn't truthful. I was not truthful. 
which means I said a lot. I was not. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Who else? Yes. Uh, you can be uh, owner. You can be owner, uh, but uh, it's all about the way you uh, say said everything. Yeah. Um, uh, so you can be truthful, but say it in a nice way. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the time timing. So you don't agree with lying. You agree is to say the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the, but the truth at all times. But choose the time to say it. And the time you said you uh, you said anything you want. Okay. Yani at this time maybe I can't uh, tell you the truth, but uh, maybe sometime. Uh, okay. This is a question for both men and women in this session. Okay. You're in a relationship. Okay. And this beautiful lady comes in, and you, you're with your partner, okay? You're with your uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, fiance, uh, husband, wife, okay? And this beautiful person, a hunk, okay, passing by, or a beautiful woman passing by. And then the partner ask, asks you, what do you think of this person? What person? <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't see. I'm <laughs> Would you, for example, say the truth then? Yes, she's beautiful. Ah, okay. You would say, okay, yeah, yes. lovely. Who else? Maybe I told him she's a beautiful. See what she's a beautiful. <laughs> no, I, 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 in yes, your pers in your perspective, he. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, just to clarify, yani we are we are not with lying, or we don't uh, justify. But we can under uh, for me, and I can understand a lie if it has uh, justification. Justification, yani good justification, and it's not harmless. It, it is uh, harmless. I mean, it is lie because you're not saying the truth. That's the white lie. Yeah, white lies. That, that's why I said it. it's white lies. Because it has a purpose, a good purpose. Mm. And all of us lie, the <laughs> white lies. Okay, so in your definition, lying is when you do harm. You do harm, of okay. course. Okay. I think yeah, we're we're all on the same page with different definitions. It's good for everybody. It's, it's not a lie. And lies sometimes sometimes we lie to to survive ourselves, or we sometimes we lie uh, in order to escape from something. I think that if we do the truth, we'll survive better. In my opinion, if we do the truth. Yeah. So lying, the sun, what else? What is uh, uh, lying, the sun, and what else came up as good things that are good for you? Uh, bad things. Uh, bad things that are good for you? You wanted to say something. You would... Actually, uh, what I'm going to say, I think it will create a whole revolution in this session. <laughs> we want that. I love smoking, personally, and I, uh, with, uh, smoking to me, it's a bad thing that is good for me. I enjoy it. It has been with me, the relationship between me and the cigarette is the longest relationship I had with anything in life. I never had a long relationship with anything or anybody longer than even with my parents. It's less than my relationship with my, with my cigarette. It's more in time, actually, and maybe more intense, yes. Uh, so I've been smoking since 86, until today. I'm enjoying it. I don't smoke much, okay? Uh, I don't finish one pack. The pack stays with me about two, sometimes three days, okay? And this has been going for about now, what, 86 until now, 31 years. So that's my example, my personal example of a bad thing that is good for me. What can you do to make me? I don't know. You need to be very creative. <laughs>
Yes. The bad people in your in my life, uh, they are bad, but in another way they will uh, make me uh, more, uh, you know, more strong and more uh, patient and 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 so. Uh, yes, the bad people, the bad friends also. Yes. Ba bad yes. friends. Friends and the people around. You. Wait, just a minute. Uh, let's. Friend How can friend bad and be friend, friend be in, be one, in sentence? one sentence? No, true. no, no, two, the two, one. not one. Bad people in my life, my relative, my yes. family, like, and the friends. The friends bad who friends. are bad? Also, the bad they friends that... be your friends if they are bad. That's what you're no, saying. but uh, sometimes I must, you know, uh, stay with them and must I talk with them, and, but, but I know they are bad. But no, I uh, know... Yeah. Okay, so bad people around us, in our definition, bad are good for us. They make us patient, they make us realize, they make us stronger, they criticize us a lot so that we are careful with ourselves. Okay. So bad things, yes. According to me, someone lie about me, they will be like, oh, it's Discover the lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you agree? Yeah, I'm agreeing. Okay. And, uh, excuse me, uh, this uh, topic reminds me of this island. Uh, okay. About every every cloud has its silver lining. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, it's silver lining. And uh, every silver lining has its cloud. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, if you can excuse us, uh, that is waiting. Okay. Okay. Happy to have you. Okay, so Yumna here does not like what we're talking about. She says you destroyed English. Yumna, please join us so that to make it better. Thank you, Yumna. <laughs> okay, so bad things that are good for us. Yes. Uh, this is a revolution, as you said. <laughs> okay. Drugs. Mm. Okay. They're bad, but they're good sometimes. Okay. It depends uh, how uh, you use them, like maybe on yourself or someone else. Yeah. Like in case of medication, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, some things or poisons. Yeah. They are bad and uh, they are useful sometimes. Sometimes you just need them. So. Yeah. yeah. They are used for medicinal reasons. Yes. You wanted to say something? Yes, I was saying that also sometimes the bad situations could make us better, uh, good for us. For example, when I was outside in Italy, my backpack was stolen with everything, mm. with passport, with money. <laughs> so I was there without anything. But later, at the, at the beginning, it was so, so bad for me. Yes. Yeah. But uh, after, uh, after a long time, I feel that I am stronger now because every every uh, complicated issue I can solve because of that bad things that happen to me. Oh, interesting. Okay. And more careful. Beautiful. Yeah, and more careful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something funny happens to me when I see the sun. If I'm at home, for example, and going out in the morning and I see the sun, I keep on sneezing. Every time I see the sun, if I'm at the office and I go out in the sun uh, for a cigarette or anything before a break, I keep on sneezing three, four, five times sneezing. Actually, and I think this is a good. name for that. Actually. So, okay. Yeah, it's called the Achu syndrome. The Achu syndrome. Yeah, which are uh, first letters of every word. Okay. Of, uh, whole name. It's a long name. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's, it's a real condition which you can't do anything to it actually. Actually, I like it because I feel that <laughs> all, the, all the bad things in the system are getting cleaned and getting out of the system, yeah. Yeah. And actually, sometimes when you know, when the, uh, at these moments when the sneeze doesn't want to go out, I choose any light, any kind of light, to keep looking at it, and it comes out. Sneeze, sneezing, had you? <laughs> Bad things that are good for you. Bad. The opinions which might be against, I have many ideas actually. Uh, for example, war. War, okay. Do uh, so anyone has an idea how war can be good? For you? <laughs> this is an example, I think, because of the war we met her. And I think <laughs> War is a tricky one. It's a very tricky one. But personally, I don't see any benefits out of war. Personally, I don't see any good that comes out out of war. Personally, this is a personal opinion. Uh, sorry? Japan is a very good example, actually, yes. War and devastation and all the hor horrible things that happened to Japan. But it made Japan... Germany also. Okay. Yeah, yes. Germany. Yeah. Germany. Yeah. Yes. What else? Bad things that are good for you. Yes. Justifying that will never be good. Sorry? Justifying that or killing someone could never be good. Okay. There is no good that comes so out of it. Japan could have been better 40 or 50 years ago, like now. Okay. So you only postpone this process. Mm. You could never know what could happen in the future. Okay. So saying Japan is an example, that's not really a good example. Okay. It's not justifying war. He's just saying that something good happened after something bad. He's not justifying the war. He's just saying that after something bad, something good happened. Yeah, and I'm saying that in every bad thing, if you try, you can find a good thing. It's not necessarily to look at it as pure bad thing. It's never only black. Sometimes you fight something. And actually, always you can find yeah, on, almost always, yes. The yin and yang concept. I mean, the yin and yang, the, the white with the black spot and the uh, uh, black with the white spot, it represents this uh, good and bad uh, uh, relationship, yeah. Sorry? Ah, okay. Yin Yang is, uh, they have different meanings. This is one of its interpretations. Yes. It's not good for me. People keep thinking it's bad. I think it's good. For X or Y or any other. 
I think this is critical. I mean, uh, yeah. Although the distinction for me, I think for a lot of things is, is critical here. But I think our topic is not finding good in the bad or finding bad in the good. We are talking about bad things, I mean, and we agree that they're bad, that they can be good to you. Uh, for example, the sun, as you mentioned, the sun is cancerous. I mean, it, staying under the sun will give you skin cancer, okay? Yes, at the same time, it's good for you. Exactly. It makes me sneeze. <laughs> or, but, yes, yeah. Yeah. So everything is, what? I think, uh, this uh, rush uh, rel uh, relative. Yes. Yeah. Bad things that are good for you. Marriage. <laughs> That's a good one, marriage. <laughs> I think it's the opposite. <laughs> good things that are bad for you. <laughs> Leave it to your imagination. <laughs> Bad things that and are good maybe for you. Maybe when uh, yeah. women they cut uh, their hair, yeah. So it's uh, it's bad to cut their hair, but it's uh, like uh, it's a turning po turning point. It's a turning point to to be stronger. Okay. okay. To get the hair stronger. Okay. No. Or to be a stronger person. In a new spirit. Oh. Stronger in a, person. In a, in a spiritual new way. spirit. Ah, okay. In a spiritual way. I didn't know that. Oh, interesting. Did you, did, did you hear that? Okay. So, uh... In general, i No. <laughs> this is the whole point. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Mais says, uh, if a woman cuts her hair, it's spiritually good. Yeah? It's, it's a new, new look. When a woman pins down, she yes. pulls, uh, she cuts her hair to have a better... Okay, this is psychological... Uh, ah, to better her mood, oh, not mood. spiritually. Ah, okay, to better no, your I mean, mood. It's a psychological uh, okay. matter, okay? So... Uh, they said when a woman in a, in a, in a bad experience, whatever it is, yes. and uh, she feels down, and she cut her hair, uh, so that means she wouldn't be again the same person. Cut her hair or do her hair? No, cut, cut. Cut? Oh, after okay. cutting my hair, I wouldn't be the same person before. Interesting. Okay. okay. Psychologically. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, Mace is saying, uh, uh, Cutting the hair, a woman when she cuts her hair, she doesn't feel right. It's not good for a woman to, to cut her hair. I mean, she, but it's good for her when she's in a bad situation, it changes her mood. Okay? Is, did I explain it right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a woman, so I'm not, okay, I'm not there. I didn't explain it right. <laughs> What's the relation between cutting hair and... Uh, uh... <laughs> Look, what I know, two things women enjoy. Not cut, doing their hair, it really changes their mood. As if, they, I mean, it's, it's a, a totally different person she comes out when she does her hair. And chopping. No, this is okay, not two things for mood about. change okay. for a woman. Okay, of course, uh, yani, uh, shopping and uh, going to salon, it's, of course it makes... It makes uh, make person better, okay? Yeah. But I mean, uh, when a girl in a bad, ex a bad experience, okay, and she feels down in her emotions, and then she, she decides to cut her hair. After she cut her hair, she wouldn't be the same person before that. Yeah. This means this is a... A turning point. Yeah, a turning point. Okay, this is psychologically. I think this is mutual with the man. Okay. 
Yes, yes. Oh, when we shave, but when we go to the hair we feel different. We feel that our cells are different. I think it's the same. It's a mutual thing. For myself, I feel different and I feel relaxed. Noor, <laughs> Noor Ghaith, Noor Ghaith is saying, sickness is bad thing, but it will force you to take a rest at home. So it can give you a vacation, actually. Yeah. Okay. It can give people to take care of you. Yeah, <laughs> people to take care of you. You're just like, oh, bring me that. <laughs> Use and abuse. Or even you don't have to ask sometimes. Just <laughs> yeah. feel like pampered. pampered. <laughs> uh, I believe that the uh, unless you see the thing between the between the division. Bad thing is still bad. That's what we call bad. Yeah. Okay. Unless you mean bad thing is a good step to lead you to success. This is the only Okay. okay. Interesting. Bad is too bad. Bad is bad. Okay. Okay, uh, one more thing just before you leave. Uh, I want to introduce Muhammad Hasban, Dr. Muhammad Hasban. Uh, gradually, uh, we're, we're looking into Muhammad uh, handling and facilitating the English uh, conversation session. Next week, we will have Muhammad facilitating a game for us with the English language. Okay? So next week, Dr. Muhammad is going to uh, give us a game uh, in a way to practice English in a fun way, in a playful way, and a yes, in a way to have fun with it. So uh, we'll wait for next week. I would like to thank you all uh, for the discussion and for the suggestion for the topic. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you next week, inshallah. Okay, bye bye.